Welcome back. Tom Hartman here with you. Is Gavin on the line with us? We is. He is. That's great. Gavin Grimm is with us, 18-year-old transgender activist and recent high school graduate. Uh, his website, facebook.com slash Gavin Grimm, G-R-I-M-M-V-A. And uh, you can tweet him at, uh, at Gavin Grimm VA. Uh, Gavin, welcome to the program. Thank you. Great to have you with us. So tell us about... Tell us about the, the uh, and oh, also with the ACLU's help, you have sued for the right to use the boys' bathroom at your school, um, and you say it's not about bathrooms, but about trans people's right to exist in public spaces. Do you want to expand on that? Yeah, for sure. So the rash of, of bathroom bills and, and um, legislation that's aimed at keeping uh, trans people out of bathrooms uh, speak to a much broader issue, and that is keeping trans people out of public space entirely, because uh, imagine just for a moment if you could only use the restroom at home, for example, or there was a select few public places where you were able to, um, uh, and, and so you would have to plan your days out around um, where you could stop or or if you if you had to run home, if you could be close enough to do that, it would make it makes a lot of things very difficult. School is one example. Work is another. Um, it's just impossible to function in public life if you don't have that kind of accessibility. Right. Yeah. And, and but it, it's not I mean, it, it seems to me that this whole, uh, you know, bathroom legislation that Republicans are promoting now in Texas, so they're, they're, they're on this thing, uh, Governor Greg Abbott. Um, that this really isn't about anything other than demonizing people for, for not being, you know, basically straight. Uh, am I, am I, do you think, uh, understanding this correctly or am I missing something? No, um, I, I think that, that, uh, you gave me a, a great chance to speak to something. I think that, um, uh, sexuality and gender are two things that are often, uh, confused when they're completely separate. Um, uh, you know, there are trans men in, that, that are attracted to women, trans men attracted to men, trans men attracted to men and women, the same thing with trans women. Um, sexuality has absolutely nothing to do with gender. Um, the demonization of trans people is based in not a, a rejection of things that aren't straight, um, although with people that do correlate the two things, certainly that adds in. Um, but it is a fundamental misunderstanding of who trans people are, what it means to be trans, and a, um, uh, a dislike, I think, on a basis of sets of deeply held beliefs that account for those kinds of um, uh, bigotries. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for that clarification um, and recalibration. Uh, well said. Uh, tell me about the, 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 this, uh, uh, your case, this ACLU case. So um, it's currently we are before the Fourth Circuit again. This is the second time. And oral arguments are going to be on September the 12th of this year. Previously, we were up um, facing the Supreme Court, but uh, the Trump administration rescinded guidelines put out by the Department of Education, which said that trans students should basically be treated like normal students and be able to use correct facilities. Um, and once those guidelines were rescinded by the Trump administration, the Supreme Court declined to hear the case. So what do you, what do you think is, how can, how can, how best can people who want to support trans people do that? Um, it, you know, uh, educate yourself, educate others. And I, I mean, on a very, very basic level, just be nice. Uh, yeah. You know, don't but discriminate. I, mean, I, I have a, a nephew who is who's trans. In fact, I, I uh, presided over his wedding. And so it's, I'm not unfamiliar with the topic right. and, and or the people. And yet I said this, you know, kind of blundery thing of, oh, it's about being straight or not. And, and thank you for correcting that. And, and I really appreciate that. Um, how, I, I, what's the best way for people to learn more and, 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 and be more, uh, be a better advocate for trans people, for people who are not trans people? Right. Well, I mean, embrace the trans people in your lives. Most people do have a trans person in their lives, whether or not they necessarily know that this can be a coworker, a neighbor, uh, acquaintance, a family member, um, 
you know, listen to trans people when they say things. When, for example, when um, someone tells you, hey, that question is upsetting or I don't want to talk about that uh, as it relates to their translation or what have you. Um, listen to them, respect their feelings, respect um, them as, as people, respect their identities. Um, in, in everyday life, if you hear someone discriminating against or making um, generalizations about or anything negative um, regarding the community, correct them if you can. Um, you know, just take very basic steps to be overall more welcoming and more kind to your, your fellow human. Yeah. And I think your point about the, you know, separating sexuality from gender is a really important one. The, um, there's, there's just not a, a broad understanding of. Right. In, in the well, United your comment was interesting because unfortunately people conflate the two very frequently and so a lot of people their understanding of trans people is that they're just weird gay people you yeah know? Uh, well, I, well that wasn't what i was trying to say but i i get no. that and yeah you know, i mean what i was trying to say is basically not uh, what's uh, you know not cis the word cisgendered yeah which and, is cisgender. or cisgender but um yeah remarkable gavin Grimm, you're doing great work gavin thank you so much for dropping by today Thank you. And educating me, along with our listeners and viewers. I appreciate it. And uh, you can tweet Gavin at Gavin Grimm VA. And uh, good on Gavin. We'll be back.